Hi guys, it's Saturday, my favorite day of the week when I get to work in my garden. So I'll show you what's in plan for today. So windy and cold for that matter. So first I have to put this rose in the ground. Then I want to go pick some strawberries because I want to make some pastries. I have some sweet and savory pastries I want to make. I have my in-laws coming over. So that's what's in the plan first. And then I want to come to pick some roses from up here so I can dry them in the oven. I learned the method of how to dry them in the oven so we'll try that. What I forgot to tell you is that I have some in silica gel drying so let's go take a look at those because that would be exciting to see how they did mm. so it's them right here i even forgot what i put i think there's some miscongeniality rolls And if you keep them for too long, they fall apart. I'm gonna try to scoop it out. Hopefully I didn't keep it for too long. Gosh, it's dry. That's a peony. It's fully dry. I don't know if you can hear. Okay, let's see what else I put. Should I put myself a label? I can't even remember what I put. So let's try to dig and see. Oh gosh, the wind. I'm supposed to do those things outside. It's a rose. It's fully dry also. Oh, here's a nigella. Oh, there wind is taking my stuff. What about them in the greenhouse? Here's the Nigella. Yeah, it's fully dry and it kept its color. So pretty. I want to see what's in here. Oh, here's the miscongeniality rose. Yeah, it's fully preserved. Let's try. I want to make some cards of them. I don't know if I have anything else. This stuff is reusable. You're supposed to dry it for a while, let it fully dry in the oven, but I put it in my greenhouse because it gets really hot in there. And that would be okay. Yeah, it, that's all I have in here. Time to pick some strawberries. Someone is guarding the strawberry patch. But don't fall asleep, okay? Because the chipmunks are ready. 
she actually doesn't catch anything. She just looks at them. the rhubarb now it's growing nicely since I put the cages on without the cages the squirrels took three of them out out of the ten so this is the today's pick I'm gonna plant the rose and then we're gonna get started on the pastries as the last allium is fading away in there, right in that spot at the back right there. I am so glad I got it in the ground because there was a reason why that spot didn't have anything. I had a big walnut in there that my previous owner had and there were roots in there that I couldn't dig before. before for, but now the roots have decomposed and they actually make a pretty nice and rich soil so good for the rose so let's look at the stats where can I put it so you can see it in the sun so it's a knockout rose and uh, it's easy to care for and it makes flowers from spring to frost that's why i decided to go more with roses because out of the perennials they are the type of shrubs that they give you a lot of color for the season and um, the size is 0.9 by 1.2 meter tall and wide so three feet by four feet which I think it has plenty. I might just encourage it to grow more that way than closer to the Alberta spruce. And on the other side, I have a kiwi vine that I didn't want to cover. So let's have a look closer. And then we'll move on. The strawberry count for today is one kilogram and that makes 13 to date for this year. I am going to show the pastries in the next video so it's not too long. See you next time. Bye.